at um, how to work with a graphics image in Design in it. So this is your main screen you come to and you want to go to the graphic studio which is this one on the left with the picture of the camera in it. Click on that. You go into graphic studio. On the file top menu if you pick out and um, open a graphic um, I'm going to uh, my design knit workshop here um, and I'm going to choose JPEGs. I've got other ones here that you can see. You can also choose different graphic files. If you pick all graphic files, you get all the images you've got. Uh, if you choose just JPEGs or TIFF, you get just those. So you've got a choice up there. So I'm going to choose this picture of the daisy here. You can either click on it or you can say OK. I'm going to double click on it. And my picture opens up, as you can see, just as the picture itself with a dialog box about what you're going to do with it. Now I want to make a picture. If I want to do just a black and white image, I choose diagram. Say OK, because it's going to be a picture. Next thing you get asked is about the grid settings. And this is really about how many stitches and rows you want to superimpose your image onto. Therefore, it's about scale. It's about the number of stitches and therefore the detail you get within each image. So if I'm going to sign electronic, I get a number of stitches and I make it 60. Number of rows. If you look above where I've typed in 60, where my cursor is now, it says 66 rows, which is based on my tensions that I originally put in on the edit screen, which is 30 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimetres. Now, I'm not actually working with that, but you, at some point, will want to actually have done a tension swatch. So I've got 60 stitches, and I'm going to put in 66 rows, because that's what I suggest. I'm going to leave my grid in red. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to tell it how many colours I want to knit this in, because it's going to be a jacquard. So I'm going to say maximum colours per row, four, which is already there, but I'll put in four. Apply. You can see it breaking it up into the grid pattern. So once you're pleased with that, say OK. And now it allows you to mix the colours that you want to do. And to do that, you've got your wall box showing up here, which you can move around if you want to. And all the colours that are in your wall box, if you've just started up from default, will be showing. If you want to, to start with no colours at all, click None. They all minimise. Then if you click on the colours you want to use, they will become the active colours. So I'm going to have yellow white, grey and black. So those are my four colours. And But because I've got a lot more colours in here, I need to actually decide where I want the yellow to knit. So I choose my little dropper and I click on any of these and drop them into the yellow. And now wherever these colours are found on the image by the process, they will be turned into yellow stitches. So pick a few of those. You can just go on doing this. You obviously have to do quite a lot, but um, you can go back and adjust it later. Then with the grey, I choose the greys. I want to knit where the grey is. And that might be some of the paler colours. It might be some of the darker ones. Choose what you want to do. And then I'm going to put the background. It's actually a blue. I'm going to pick it up and put it into the black. And this paler blue too. Some of these quite pale blues here. And the green of the stalk. I want to have that to knit this blue as well. As I say, you can come back and order these later. And the whites. Put the different pale greys into the whites. And then it will pick up and knit those as white. You have to be careful because sometimes you can pick up the same colour. Uh, and design and it doesn't differentiate so you may find sometimes it's not quite right when you've got all these colors mixed up together you click apply and it builds it up as a picture for you as it would knit so if you're happy with that fine if not you can go and alter it again by using your dropper click on that undo, go back, pick up with your dropper and pick up any colours you didn't like. So um, 
Let's just apply it again, see what happens. And you can also edit this later, so you don't actually have to just work with it here. But if I go back and pick my little dropper up, uh, there were some picked some colours here that I didn't like that were mixing in. Click apply again. And when you're happy with that, you can say OK. And you can see on the left here, it's telling you how far it's gone with the process. And once it's done that, it will take it into the edit screen for you. At this point, you choose however many colours you or what method you want to knit it by. I want to do a four colour jacquard. Say OK. It's telling me there are errors in the pattern. And I can, I can select those and alter them later. So I say yes, OK. There it is now with a grid on it, as if it was a punch card or a, 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 a mylar sheet you're going to work with. <clears throat> Your wool box, you can reduce the colours in by going to palettes, wool box, uh, delete unused, pack. Now you end up with your four colours. It's easier to see what you're doing. And now you can go in with your pencil and pick a colour up and delete these odd bits if you don't want them and change little bits of your drawing if you want to. You can add a little bit there for example, fiddle around with it, do what you want. So you are in control of it again. Now it said there was a problem with it so I'm going to go check Jacquard and it's telling me there are 26 methods, uh, 26 errors in my method B if I say yes, correct automatically, it will try and alter them. Uh, and that will nip correctly now. And if you don't like it, you can undo it. I've had to put a few little dots of black around there. And once I've done that, I have to go back and do it again. Check jacquards. Check jacquard. No, I don't want to do that because it will change my jacquard yarn colour, so I don't want to do that. Yes, checked automatically. If you're happy with it, save it. File, save as. Remember to put it where you can find it again. So I'm going to call it Daisy. Two. Okay. And now that's saved, and you can write something else and come back to it later.